Hi and welcome to our channel. My name is Yulia and this is Mitri. Hello everyone. We're discussing fragrances here and if you enjoy this topic, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Today uh, we'll have an unusual video. Uh, we got a parcel from one of our subscribers. Uh, she's from Italy and we've uh, filmed uh, a video already uh, on uh, blind sniffing. Um, in uh, another language uh, because she sent us uh, uh, this parcel. We've uh, made a video in her native language uh, because uh, that's only fair to do so and yes. um, that's why we won't be able to do blind sniffing for you guys in English uh, obviously because we have already unboxed uh, the parcel, we've sniffed all the fragrances We've sprayed them on the blotters, we've read uh, the descriptions and everything. Maybe if you're interested, you can watch this video with um, uh, subtitles. Uh, but uh, uh, what we decided to do here, because we wanted to do a video for you too, um, we've decided that we'll just uh, quickly get through what we have received, what we sniffed, uh, just say a couple of words about the fragrances today and uh, show you um, the bottles uh, on the papers because they've been printed out and we also received a lot of uh, candies yes from <laughs> italy, from italy. Uh, i have to say that i have already tried this one in the break that we had uh, between the previous video uh, this pistachio one it's delicious it's like um a hard candy but inside it has this delicious creamy pistachio cream it's amazing it's just to die for i'm loving it uh it's sad that i don't have more of that because i'll have to find it somewhere <laughs> or go to mm -hmm. italy <laughs> so we we had uh, 10 numbered uh, fragrances mm -hmm. uh, from one to ten and uh, two separate uh in tanamel Yes, let's go from number one until ten and then show the rest. Uh, and it's all have been has been beautifully packed. It's no, amazing. Number one was this one. And uh, it has been changed a little bit uh, from the very opening. Yeah. It was a little bit fresher, uh, more floral. Uh, it's uh, Francesca Bianchi. Unspoken mask. Yes. Now, actually, we have thought that uh, this fragrance uh, has this uh, vintage vibe, and uh, we thought uh, I personally thought that it's a uh, very uh, that this fragrance is a designer fragrance, but a very uh, good quality one. Like uh, the Guerlain could uh, make this fragrance, or Risa Le Grand, something like that. But uh, actually, it's Francesca Bianchi, and uh, it's a recent uh, release. Uh, it was released in 2022. Uh, yeah, and actually, we really like this one. It's nice. It's um, woody, it's spicy, uh, it's floral, it's got iris here. It's uh, uh, very musky and powdery. It's uh, quite animalic, especially uh, after one and a half hours dry down. Yes, the first video was very long, uh, one hour and 35 minutes. Yeah, what? Well, okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, it was very, very lovely in the opening, but it's uh, now quite animalic, uh, I would say. Yeah. But it's uh, interesting for me. Yes, I like this one. It's nice. It's not the most amazing fragrance that I have ever smelled, but uh, it's like this uh, uh, musky uh, leather with iris with some... Uh, uh, herbal nuances. It's uh, quite beautiful. Yeah, vintagey kind of. Style, yeah, yeah. Uh, woody. Yeah. Uh, in the opening, I have smelled a lot of leather and uh, some uh, iris or uh, violet uh, scent, and uh, there was also there were also citruses in the opening. Yeah. Let's move forward. Uh, the second one was this one, number two. I mean... And it's a very pretty smelling fragrance. Yes, it's uh, this floral... A very elegant... Uh, feminine composition. 
Yes, citrus or floral mask, I would say, yeah. Yeah, and it's uh, Filippo Scorcinelli, Scorcinelli, uh, what's it called? Hack dice? I don't know. Uh, Hack dice, uh, we don't know how to pronounce it. So yeah, it's got a lot of notes uh, here, it's actually it's very a, fruity as well. It's an Italian niche, niche uh, brand and it was released uh, in this year. 2023 and uh, the top notes are bergamot, jasmine, um, orange, uh, aloe. Uh, middle notes are peach, cedar, rose and mir. And base notes are vanilla, musk, amber, sandalwood and patchouli. Mm -hmm. uh, for, uh, for my nose, it's a quite familiar smell. Uh, if you have smelled a lot of uh, citrus uh, floral musk fragrances, yeah. uh, then you can uh, imagine what uh, what it smells like. But uh, it has also some fruitiness in it. It uh, yeah. makes speech. It's very elegant, very nice. Uh, when we smelled this one, very we thought warm. that it's a very well blended, uh, sophisticated fragrance. But uh, actually, we thought that it wasn't a niche fragrance. We thought that maybe it was uh, a um, a designer fragrance. I think, if I remember uh, correctly, or uh, or even niche uh, because it has uh, some uh, beautiful uh, quality ingredients. Yes, it's nose. like it doesn't smell like it's, anything it, synthetic. It, 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 it's it's very... It smells like more kind of designer fragrance, but with niche ingredients. I would yeah, say. yeah. I get. Yeah, I guess that's a good way to describe this one. So it's pretty nice. I'm looking forward actually to wearing this in uh, high heat if it's uh, going to be this year. <laughs> Maybe next year, let's see. Actually, yeah. actually I saw yesterday uh, a video from uh, one gentleman from London and he said that uh, all July was uh, rain in London. All July and uh, 22 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> So we, we had also in the, our country uh, very rainy days, all, yeah. all, all month. So next one was uh, Infinite Love uh, by Alma Parfums, 1948. And for Manos it's very interesting. So and, uh, w w when I look uh, uh, on the notes, I kinda can't uh, imagine this image in, in, my, in my nose. Yeah, so it smells we, like like the notes descri description. Yeah. So when we smelled this, I thought that it's quite spicy, and I thought that Very it green. had anise. It's green, uh, and uh, it has some um, ripe fruits, like almost going bad. And actually, there is papaya, which can smell like uh, a fruit that is going bad. And, and uh, there is wild um, orchid also. Yeah. And. Uh, uh, it's uh, quite spicy, with uh, with uh, greenery uh, coming from Nagarmota mm -hmm. or Cipriolo oil, and uh, cloves uh, gives this uh, in the dry down a lot of spiciness. Actually, the spices were also in the very opening. Yeah. Yeah. If you want, you can show closer. Yeah, this one. Ouch. Sorry. So yeah, we, we actually enjoyed this fragrance, it was fun to sniff it. Uh, for my nose it's quite interesting. Uh, and it smells very unusual. Yeah, it does. Let's move on. And the color is beautiful on this fragrance. Color is amazing, yeah. Uh, dark pink. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't uh, smell to me like a pink fragrance, to be honest. Uh, maybe it's from uh, uh, Orchid, uh, this color, uh, we don't know. Number four was uh, this fragrance. Yeah, right now. What it was? Uh, I think it was J.Lo, uh, the, the, the floral one. Yeah, it smells like... A, uh, it smells v very, very beautiful, actually. Uh, we have said that it uh, smells quite uh, familiar, like maybe some uh, be beautiful feminine fragrance from Chanel or Guerlain, yeah. yeah. And it's uh, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. <laughs> Called One. 
Yeah, we we're actually surprised that it's Jennifer Lopez. Uh, we said that it has a lot of uh, florals. Mm. It's uh, sweet, and uh, I have smelled a lot of sandalwood in it. Yeah, yeah. and in the base, the main note is sandalwood. And our subscriber, Yelena, she says that um, people are comparing it to uh, Santal 33 by Lila Bow. And I, 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 I kind of can see that uh, yeah, similarity between them. Uh, but uh, Le Labo Sansal 33 is more uh, more thick and more uh, powerful, I would say, yeah? And I would say that it had uh, more of the, like, um, and the, this piney kind of... And the, this one is a bit more feminine smelling than Sansal 33. Yeah, this is very feminine smelling. It has freesia, uh, pink pepper, uh, peach, peach flower. flower. Uh, clear wood, cedar, jasmine, sandal, um, moss, and suede. Yeah, quite beautiful, powdery, uh, woody yeah. fragrance. Did you show the... Actually, it smells very nice. I was uh, surprised. Yes, I, uh, many, many years ago I've uh, given my friend uh, as a gift uh, one of JLo's fragrances. Uh, it has some tropical notes like um, pineapple and stuff and uh, she says, uh, she said that she really liked it and uh, it got a lot of compliments. It was the JLo one, this number four color. So next one, number five, it was the fragrance that wowed us. It's we were like, yeah, one. that smells great. So, to me, it reminded me a little bit um, of uh, music for a while because it has like the similar kind of fun vibe. It also has uh, uh, fruity notes, uh, it has lavender, it has um, uh, woody notes, and it has this sweetness as well, like the, the, the candy kind of uh, sweetness, delicious sweetness. Yeah, I really like this one. It's very unusual. So, uh, it's called uh, Aquilo Horatio uh, and uh, it's, it's uh, a, a very aromatic, spicy for my nose, yeah? It's an uh, English brand and uh, it was released uh, in uh, 2021, it's a niche uh, fragrance. Very green. Uh, so, uh, it's got um, citrus notes in the top, lavender and spices. Mid notes are Nagarmotha, Rose and um, Woody notes and the base notes are Amber, Sweet notes and Vetiver. And uh, in the music for a while uh, the, the, main, the main accords uh, for us are uh, this uh, Pineapple, Lavender and Spices. Yeah? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, here also are uh, Lavender, uh, very prominent Lavender and Spices and uh, in the opening Citruses and then Nagarmotha gives its uh, Mm, this uh, beautiful dark greenery, yeah? yeah. This is the reason why I, 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 I also it. said something. Uh, I believe it has some rose, yeah, mm -hmm. and it has rose. And sweet notes. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of. I think uh, this one is even more wearable than uh, Music for Wild. But it's also as much fun, I would say. A little bit more wearable for an everyday use, I would say, as well. Because the other one, I think, is more of um, for special occasions, the music for a while. Yeah, so this one, we really like it about us, and uh, that's good prayer fragrance, and I want to learn more about this brand after yeah. sniffing this fragrance. Horatio, Horatio, I don't know how it's called. <laughs> so, next fragrance. And uh, Elena written us that it uh, smells very elegant and uh, mild. Yeah, it's kind of elegant, uh, uh, spicy fragrance. So next fragrance is fruity, delicious, very feminine as yeah, well. Yeah, it's also like uh, Jennifer Lopez, it's uh, more feminine, quite feminine. Yeah, tropical. So, it's a designer fragrance. It's a Miu Miu fragrance, Fleur de la Fleur de Lait, Miu Miu. 
So, uh, it was released in 2023, it's an Italian brand and it's got notes of mango, asmanthus and coconut milk. Actually, we thought that it may smell, smell some floral notes, uh, some aquatic notes, but yeah, it's just these three notes, but it gives it this uh, uh, nice... Um, yeah, I said that, that uh, it smells uh, pink for me, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it reminded me of uh, designer fragrances like uh, something from like Julia has uh, like uh, Miracle from Lancome or Issey Miyake. Le uh, Dicet de Floral, I think yes, I and, uh, Chloe. Chloe, yeah. Chloe by Chloe, yeah. yeah. And I also say it, uh, something like uh, a little bit from J'adore by Dior. Yeah. Yeah, the vibe is kind of similar to these fragrances. And Osmanthus gives this uh, beautiful uh, peachy floral uh, yeah. nuances and uh, also mango gives this exotic vibe. Uh, smells very nice, actually. Smells nice. Uh, very nice, pretty, very feminine and uh, uh, summer day fragrance. I'm yeah, and for that. a designer fragrance it smells actually quite natural as well, which is, um, which is pleasant. Quite, quite sur surprising, yeah. yeah. It, I, I kind of smell like uh, this is a designer fragrance, but it smells uh, very high quality. Yeah, this is good. So, next one, number seven. This actually is also a fragrance that wowed us. It's very, very interesting, unusual, amazing, and actually, uh, I don't know about you, but I've never um, heard of this brand. Yeah, it's one of the best uh, from this uh, today's line. So it's Vittoria Alata by uh, Christian Cavagna. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. Um, so it's. Uh... Uh, we said that it, it has some delicious nuances. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, very bright, very fresh, airy, kind of alehadic in the opening. I said that it's it has some uh, fruits, some uh, florals. Yeah. Uh, it's an Italian niche brand. Uh, the fragrance was released in 2023. Uh, the perfumers behind this fragrance are Arturetto Landi and uh, Christian Cavagna. And so the top notes are aldehydes, banana leaf, uh, ginger, uh, mid notes are raspberry, metallic notes, tuberose, iris, and base notes are alabanum, musk, amber, and vanilla. And, and guys... Uh, and Julia said that it has also some uh, mild incense uh, accord. Yes. It's so uh, coming from alabanum. Yeah. Uh, very interesting composition and very, very, very unique and unusual. Very unique, very unusual, and I'm surprised how we didn't uh, sniff the tuberous in here. But, uh, guys, this is really quite something. Actually, I don't smell the raspberry itself, no. but it's, it's kind of very beautiful overall blend. Yeah, very, very smooth and uh, very unusual. I love this fragrance. I love it. It's very nice. I, I would definitely wear it in a uh, spring and summer day. It has also some uh, clean vibe, like uh, some uh, uh, cleaning powder, a little bit, yeah? But in a good way. Beautiful. So next fragrance we're going to talk about, number eight, uh, we thought that it smells of sandalwood right away, that was the first thing that we smelled. Mm. A little bit sweet, I've uh, thought that it reminds me a little of um, uh, a finescence fragrance that is called... Uh, Santal Basmati. Santal Basmati, yes, it, because I kind of felt some... this uh, food aspect, like the, the rice or or some other grain that's been boiled. Uh, yeah, it, it has some sweet, It has some beautiful gourmand sweetness and de delicious spiciness for my nose. Yeah. Yeah. And this fragrance is Seminalis by Orto Parisi. <laughs> Uh, it's a niche uh, fragrance brand from Holland and it was uh, released in 2016. The famous Alessandro Gualtieri, of course. Uh, which is uh, 
also an owner and perfumer of uh, the brand Nazomato, which we love. Actually, we, we don't have any Orto Parisi fragrances, yeah. yeah, and we don't have any samples. Yes. Uh, so this is the first one uh, sample from Alessandro Gualtieri, uh, from Nazomato and Orto Parisi. And which we're very we, happy we, about. we have uh, three bottles of uh, Nazomato. Yeah. So this is uh, very elegant, very beautiful. Um, it's not loud. You can wear it like anytime, anywhere. It, it, it has it has a touch of animatics in here. Yeah, I, I can smell that. And uh, some like a beautiful animatic, spicy white floral vibe. Yeah. Also, yeah. Yelena wrote a note here uh, that she really likes uh, this fragrance. Uh, she smells musk, uh, animatic notes, um, and uh, vintage white flowers. Uh, she says that uh, uh, it smells very nice on her skin and very mysterious, and I can imagine that. Yeah, it's kind of mysterious, and uh, I, I want to smell it more, uh, yeah. to discover it more. It's you beautiful. Know? I, would I, would I would love to wear it on my skin. Yeah, very nice. Next fragrance, number nine. Uh, we instantly thought about Wulong Cha when we smell this fragrance because uh, we smell a lot of citruses here. And uh, we've smelled the um, tea accords, the green vibe here as well. Uh, we were actually, Dmitri said that it could be a, a niche fragrance, but I was uh, leaning more towards uh, a designer fragrance uh, such as uh, John Varvatos, uh, Artisan Pure or Pure Artisan, I can't remember how it's called correctly. Artisan Pure. Yeah, so I was thinking more of that way. And yeah. actually, you guys... For, for, for me, ingredients smell the uh, better quality than uh, designer fragrances. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It reminded me of uh, uh, Wulong Cha quality, but a little bit a, a little bit more synthetic yeah. in a way. Yeah. And uh, this fragrance is uh, Fiore di Portofino by Maresk. It's an Italian niche brand. It was released in 2016. Uh, the perfumer behind this uh, fragrance is Andrea Cassotti. And um, it has uh, Italian lemon, basil, neroli and Sicilian uh, orange in the top notes. Uh, there is a geranium, uh, Tuscan iris, mimosa, and um, I forgot the name of this uh, flower. Uh, carnation. Uh, carnation uh, and in the mid notes, and the base notes are vetiver, musk, and amber. So yeah. Um, uh, I immediately said that it has some uh, uh, a lot of citruses uh, like uh, uh, lemon, uh, bergamot. Uh, or even orange, and uh, I said that it, it has a lot of uh, uh, like aromatic herbs also, yeah? Yeah. And it's basil here. Yeah. Uh, it's a beautiful fragrance, uh, very nice, uh, very good uh, he, he... for summer, I think, but um, I think it's a little bit overpriced for it, what it is. It became uh, more floral than, yeah. uh, than, than it was in the opening, yeah? yeah. Actually, very nice, beautiful, uh, very pretty fragrance uh, for the summer day. Yeah, I would say, yeah. But I I can't smell it uh, too much uh, from the distance. Yeah, uh, it, I, I would say it kind of a little bit uh, closer to your skin, maybe fragrance. Yeah, our subscriber says that uh, it's a very complimented uh, fragrance in her collection. She sees, as, uh, she sees it as a citrusy, elegant fragrance with a soft basil accord. Yeah. Very nice, uh, very beautiful looking bottles. Uh, I have uh, a couple of fragrances uh, from this house. And uh, very soon we'll, we'll uh, film a video of unboxing of another Moresque fragrance. It's called Oro with a very beautiful incense note in it. Yeah. So the last fragrance, which you also really liked, uh, it reminded us, uh, well, it reminded me instantly of uh, Blessed Baraka by Inicio. With, with, with some mix of uh, Rosanna Matteo number 5, maybe yeah. this uh, 
latex note, the, the spiciness. Uh, spiciness, muskiness a little yeah. bit and this uh, sweetness. Yeah? yeah, so it's sweet, it's uh, vanillic, it's ambery. And yeah, it, it, it has more more similarity now to Bless Baraka, I see. It. Yeah. And then it was in the very opening. Yeah, the tobacco note, we talked about the leathery note. And this, uh, this uh, uh, wild cherries in the top and uh, plums. Uh, many people say uh, that uh, they smell uh, cherries in the Bless Baraka. Yeah. yeah. And also a lot of uh, tobacco-based fragrances, they have this uh, cherry or plum note as well. And uh, these both fragrances has beautiful, very oriental spiciness. Yeah. So you're wondering what it, what is this? And it's uh, Infinity by Mantau. It's a new fragrance um, from France. It's also a niche brand. It was released in 2023. So um, it has um, black cherries, uh, plum, saffron, cardamom, and pink pepper in the top notes. So the mid notes are oud. Um, leather, leather, sandal, tuberose, rose, and vetiver. The base notes are uh, tobacco leaf, uh, vanillic sugar, amber, uh, tonka beans, and musk. And yeah, actually we were pleasantly surprised by this fragrance. We also said that it smells a little bit synthetic, and also we smell the syntheticness in Inicio's fragrances. And yeah, I think, I'm not sure how much does this fragrance cost, but I think it should uh, cost a lot less than Inicio's fragrances, and if it does, then I think it's a very, very good, amazing alternative to Blessed Baraka, if you like it. Yeah, uh, we, we, we actually smell this fragrance today for the first time, yeah. but maybe it's their version, version of kind of Blessed Baraka, yeah. maybe, maybe a little bit changed, yeah? Yeah. But they did it, a very good job. It could be possible. Yeah. Or uh, we said also one fragrance, uh, Halt at Night. Yeah, by, by Attar Collection. Yep. Also kind of in that uh, Direction, vein. yeah. But this one is actually very, very similar to, to Blast Baraka, in my opinion. Yeah. Not very similar, but it has some similarities. Halt at Night uh, has more similarities with uh, Angel Share, I would say, because it has more cinnamon there. And Angel Share also has a lot of cinnamon in there. But this one is uh, the closest from what we remember is yeah. uh, Blessed Baraka from yep. Inicio. Yeah. So, very nice. Could, like could be a great alternative for that yeah. one. Yeah. And uh, then we have smelled uh, two another fragrances. Mm -hmm. They came in this beautiful little boxes in 10, 10 ml. ml. These were absolutely new, never sprayed. So this one we really really liked. Very beautiful color and it kind of smells spicy. Spicy ambery. Uh, very herbal and ambery. Yeah. And it's uh, really surprised that it's really nice. Yeah. This is good. We're gonna enjoy wearing it. Really. It's a it's a beautiful smell. Yeah. The next uh, fragrance, or do you want to talk more about this one? I mean, it's it's one of my beloved uh, genres in perfumery, like uh, this fragrance. It's uh, kind of this oriental, ambery, spicy, floral, with some freshness, with some s s touch of sweetness. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it has some hay or immortelle. Yeah. We're gonna have to decide who's gonna take this one. <laughs> Nice. I think we'll wear it uh, both. And uh, the next one was uh, Salis uh, from the same brand. Yeah. I have to say already that um, it reminds me of uh, air freshener, like uh, the one that you use in your toilet. <laughs> like some ocean uh, smell. Uh, these both fragrances are from Italy, uh, from Tuscany. Yeah. Herbario Toscano. 
Well, it's kind of nice, but at the same time, the feeling of uh, the air freshener doesn't go away and um, it's kind of disturbing me to fully enjoy this fragrance. Mm, uh, I would say I wouldn't wear it yeah. for my personal likings. I would much prefer the first one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, uh, but it, it's it's not a bad smelling fragrance. Uh, when, we, when we sprayed it, I immediately said it's ambergris. Yeah. And uh, uh, seawater, some marine vibes, yeah. It's very fresh. Maybe with some wheat inside. Yeah, you know, the sea, the hole. If you smell fragrances like uh, Aqua di Scandola uh, by Parfum d'Empire, it has something like uh, that vein, but we. I enjoy this a little bit more than Aqua Discandola mm. uh, because uh, that that one uh, Aqua Aqua Discandola has a more the seaweed uh, pronounced and I kind of don't uh, really enjoy it. Yeah. But the citruses in that fragrance are beautiful, so it's kind of not a bit polarizing for my nose. Another one, uh, very sea, like like the most uh, actual sea, like how the ocean smells, is uh, uh, Silence the Sea. Uh, yeah, from Strange Love and YC, but we don't uh, like that fragrance at all. Yeah. Uh, for, for our nose, it smells awful. Uh, it's very expensive. Uh, smells very realistic. Yeah, and uh, very awful. Yeah, and uh, the, the ingredients used are very high quality, yeah. as we can uh, smell, and it's uh, very well blended, but the smell is kinda a even a little bit disgusting for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Uh, it smells like a, a dead fish, like the whole sea, like like seaweed, and that's everything in there inside. Yeah. If you like uh, that genre, uh, maybe you t it would be enjoyable for you. But this also has a little bit of that, but not so uh, disgusting. Yeah. yeah. All right, that uh, was everything that we've received and uh, actually we enjoyed uh, uh, filming uh, this kind of videos and uh, yeah, what did you want to say? And uh, a couple of words more, I, I said that it, uh, this fragrance salis, it has uh, some maybe eucalyptus or uh, pine uh, smell in it, yeah? yeah? It's like, imagine, like the pine uh, forest uh, between the sea, uh, yeah. near the sea, yeah? Kind of that vibe. Yeah. Actually, maybe you'll enjoy it, uh, to wear it a lot, we don't know. Yeah. Try it if you like this uh, genre. Yeah, once again, uh, we were very happy to film this video and uh, to receive uh, uh, these gifts. Uh, actually, it's the first time that we received uh, a package uh, from uh, our subscriber. Uh, all Previously, everything, all the reviews that we made uh, were Fragrances that we bought with our own money. No one ever has sent us a free bottle. So yeah That was really nice to to receive uh, such a package full of new discoveries Actually all of these fragrances we've never tried before so today was amazing and uh, Some of the fragrances we really really enjoyed and we're looking forward to discovering the fragrance brands as well So and if you guys uh, would love uh, to see a video like that in English and maybe you live in Europe uh, We would be as we also live in Europe uh, and it's easy to send parcels and if you would like to do that that, we would be very happy to film this video in English um, because yeah today we couldn't do the first uh, f uh, full first impressions uh, because we did it in another, in another language but we would love to do that in English as well so yeah that was a very very nice video we enjoyed it so much and uh, it was especially nice and uh... Uh, for us, because we received uh, them uh, from our subscriber, yeah, not yeah. not from the brand. Yeah. Uh, so, I think it's uh, uh, amazing, actually. Yeah, yeah, and, blind uh, sniffing is amazing. And uh, we are we are very thankful uh, to Elena uh, yeah. for this uh, parcel, and uh, it's it was a. Uh, a beautiful two hours of our life uh, smelling this uh, fragrances blindly. Yeah, and the room here smells absolutely divine actually. It smells amazing. Yeah, it's very beautiful. 
So yes, thank you so much for watching this, uh, this video. We know that it wasn't uh, quite the blind sniffing, but we still wanted to share our thoughts with you guys uh, because we didn't uh, want to leave you out of this experience. And we hope that you enjoyed this video anyway, and it was useful for you. Thank you so much for watching us till the end. We wish you an amazing day and goodbye. Thank you, bye.